Hey, this is Mike Brosnan. I'm here again to share some tips, some things that we really want everyone to focus on to help build their Bella Vita business. This concept that I'm going to talk about today is really building a community. If we're creating a community of like-minded people, either in our own teams or, you know, of our customers, uh, people want to connect to a community. You know, I've observed over the years, the 25 years that I've been in this business, uh, different groups and how they do things in different countries even. And the successful groups always do this. They always build community. They always create this magnetizing effect that draws people in to what they're doing, that helps people uh, recognize the collective passions that everybody has and and helps those new individuals kind of get caught up in these uh, passions this cause this movement uh, that you built within this community you look at uh, our japan group our taiwan group our singapore group they're doing many of these things our malaysia teams they build communities and and these communities are really people that want to be together and i've uh, identified some things, not in any specific order. So we'll kind of go through a few of these things. So first is um, leadership symposium. So when you have a group, there's always going to be some leaders that really drive the group. And so the leaders should be together often and they should have like a, a leader council or something like this leadership symposium where people get together and they share their ideas that can benefit the group collectively and build that community. So next would be activities. I've seen this a lot even in our Malaysia group, our Taiwan group, they're always doing things together. Recently our Malaysia or I should say our Taiwan group even had this great activity where as part of some tradition uh, they floated lanterns and they had their wishes uh, attached or written on these lanterns and a, a lot of our people kind of came together. This was a fun activity. It wasn't, you know, a training or a seminar or things where um, they were even much talking about the product, but they just gathered together for this fun activity. They enjoy each other's company and it was something where they felt like there was this purpose to um, to, to float their wishes into the heavens and, and share those wishes with each other. So group activities. Now, another thing I think that's really important is that we do have consistent trainings that people can count on uh, every month or every week, whatever is possible. But those consistent trainings would be another thing. Number three, consistent. This is something that will build community but more important than that is it gives particularly the new people a forum to learn what activity skills and uh, attributes that they need to have to, to really uh, build their business and to be successful. They, they want to, they have a high level of enthusiasm, but they need to know, they need to match that level of enthusiasm with knowledge and to have consistent trainings builds community, but it also fills that gap for these new people with knowledge and understanding and experience. A few other things that I've seen them do is, is they, they gather together even just for simple things like having lunches. They just get together, they enjoy each other's company, they'll have lunch together, they'll make it kind of an informal um, symposium of sorts where they'll just talk through different ideas and kind of catch up with each other on where they're at and what each other can do to support uh, the other person. One thing that our Taiwan office does really well is actually every month they have a birthday party uh, at a location. And that birthday party is to celebrate everyone who had a birthday during that month uh, to celebrate their birthday. So collectively they get together and they just celebrate and they have fun. So birthday parties. Everybody loves a party and everybody loves to um, be recognized. And this is just another way. Going forward, um, workshops, not just like training on how to build the business, but literally a workshop on 
how to use the product. So these might be product knowledge workshops. And again, going back to what I said at the beginning, the successful groups that I've witnessed in this industry have really applied these kinds of things. They've um, had workshops where they literally show people how to use the product. And, and it's an amazing transformation because people become confident with the product when they both share in a workshop and when they're learning in a workshop. So product workshops. How about uh, recognizing each other's achievements? Whenever you're gathering, maybe there's a new person that's advanced or achieved a new level. Take the opportunity, and the successful groups do this. They always take the opportunity to really recognize any achievement that one of the members of their community has achieved. And it is really powerful. People love to be recognized. This may be one of the most important factors in our style of business. So recognition. I think that when people are bringing new prospects to learn about uh, Bella Vita or products, that there always has to be a, a, a forum, a great forum for introducing people to, to put the experts up in front of the room. So uh, in, in a lot of parts of Asia, they call this an OPP, Opportunity Product Presentation. So consistent, consistent opportunity product presentations. Now, like I said, these aren't in any particular order. This one might go up here because when you're having these consistently and they're successful at introducing and, and uh, exposing Bella Vita's product and opportunity to new people, then as those people decide to come and join the community, then you feed those individuals into number three here, consistent training. That's why I said this isn't in any necessary order because you'll, you'll have these maybe more consistent, these product and, and opportunity presentations. And as people funnel into the community, then you'll funnel them into these more detailed trainings about how to do the business. And this is one of my favorite for building a community of like-minded, connected people, and that's serve. Serve each other and serve your community. Now, when I'm talking about community here, I'm not necessarily talking about the community that you're building of these like-minded Bella Vita people and your teams and your groups. I'm talking about serve your greater community, your, your neighborhood, your city, your town. When you gather together to serve others, uh, you're all lifted as a result. Uh, I think this is the real essence of why we put together Bella Kids, because uh, as we go around and have larger events, we often will have some kind of service opportunity where we'll build kits for impoverished children, or we'll go to an orphanage, or go to a, a center where there's kids in, at risk or at need, and we'll um, give them gifts, we'll perform songs and, and play games with them, spend time with them. I've seen this in a lot of our groups where they actually come together as a community and do things to serve the greater community. It's really a powerful effect. Number 10, a really important aspect of building a community is to have communication. Communication and community come from the same root word, but this needs to be consistent, it needs to be clear, uh, and this is the way that you support each other, is through this constant communication, making sure the information is flowing, making sure that a lot of these other things are happening, like uh, recognitions and announcements for workshops, trainings, OPPs. There has to be effective communication. All of the rest of this will break down unless you're effectively communicating. Uh, not only effective and efficient, but it needs to be uh, value-added communications. People need to feel that it's sincere, that it's real, that it's truthful, um, much like what we talked about in one of our previous discussions like this is that uh, it has to be authentic. So again, communication and all the rest 
will fall into place. So hopefully these are useful tips. I promise that as you do these things collectively as a group, you start small when you're a small group and it grows. And as it grows, it'll be something people will naturally just want to be a part of. As they see this interaction and they see that they're part of something bigger than themselves, something that really just has an energy of its own, they will naturally gravitate to this, they'll magnetize to it, they'll want to be a part, and that builds the Bella Vita family globally. So hopefully this is useful. We love you. Thank you. Goodbye.